This is Lior Raz on a life and death mission in the middle of the war zone. Bombs exploding overhead. The star of Netflix's undercover war drama Fauda is on the front lines to rescue families trapped in the fighting. The Israeli-born actor and screenwriter who also starred in The Crowded Room and Six Underground was joined by Fauda's co-creator as he put his real-life training to work. He told us just a few months ago... I was in the Special Forces in Israel and I was in the undercover unit. So I connected the, my, my army experience to the show Fauda that I, I've written. Israeli-born Gal Gadot spent two mandatory years in her home country's defense forces. Serving in the military is part of being Israeli. She spoke out on Instagram. I stand with Israel, you should too. The world cannot sit on the fence when these horrific acts of terror are happening. Fellow Israeli Natalie Portman, I am in horror at these barbaric acts and my heart is pounding with love and prayer for the families of all affected. Everyone down, flat, cover your head. Fox News's Trey Yinkst dove for cover. ABC's Matt Gutman ran for safety. All right, that was interception just over our head Another. on cnn this interview with a woman pleading for the release of her kidnapped family we need everyone to help us left anchor anderson cooper speechless The three big evening news anchors are all in the war zone now, including CBS Evening News' Nora O'Donnell. Hello, Billy. Well, we're seeing a lot here on the ground, and this war, I must have to tell you, has had a tremendous impact on people's psyche here in Israel. In many ways, it has really shaken their sense of safety, even in a city like here in Tel Aviv, where today we had to seek shelter multiple times. She spoke with a mother of three who escaped an attack with her husband hiding in a shelter for hours. Do you think they were coming to try and kill you? Of course. She described having to jump from a second floor window with her family or else they were afraid they would burn to death. Back in New York, late night hosts who had returned to work just one week earlier found themselves walking a wartime tightrope. On the show, we always try our best to talk about what everybody's talking about today, but we didn't even attempt to write jokes about this. The human mind simply refuses to do it. I am a very public Jewish person, and it feels conspicuous to not um, say something today. Mayim Bialik, whose family lives in Israel, spoke out on Instagram in a heart-to-heart -heart with her followers. Now it's late in Israel. Our hearts are with you, no matter what side of the political divide we are on. Another Fauda co-star, Zach Halavi, just re-enlisted to join the fight. I spoke with his good friend Aaron Cohen, a counterterrorism expert who served in the Israeli Defense Forces Special Operations Unit. Really, that's my former unit. I was the first American to serve in the Fauda unit. He's lined up, he's geared up, he's ready to go and do business because he knows that Israel pays a high price to exist. It seemed that it was always a political nightmare, but now, with such horrific violence that we've all seen, doesn't this give the Israeli government the opportunity to really unleash? I think what you're going to see now, Billy, is uh, the world is giving Israel a nod. They're giving them a wink. They're behind us. They support us. Hollywood supports us. But I want you to know this. We follow international law. And I can tell you that I went through torture in the Israeli special forces to not lay hands on civilians and to not fire rounds into civilians. We take down terrorists.